welcome, welcome, my friend. Are you ready? We're going to have some crafty fun together. We're going to be making a window shaped card. That's also a shaker card with the new Ornate Peacock collection. So are you ready? Shall we have some fun? Let's flip the camera and I'll show you the card. Okay. So friend, if we haven't met, my name is Liz. Drop me a comment, say hi. Let me know where you're from. Um, I can see your comments, we're live and it's awesome for us to be able to chat. Okay, so this is the card that I'm going to be making today. It's a shaped window card and it's got a shaker element to it. So isn't it gorgeous? Throw me some hearts if you are loving the new peacocks. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely elegant. Um, throw me some hearts if you're loving the card. Drop me a comment and um, let's get crafting. Okay, so I'm going to pop that over here to one side. Tina, good to see you, my friend. How are you today, my friend? Okay, so we will start by making the the shape the window and the and the shaped card. So for this, I'm going to be using the ornate window die and stamp set. And this is the image. It's a beautiful one and let me show you the dies. So we have um, the outer die. This cuts the windows and this cuts the um, top of it. And um, then there's another piece which cuts the outer of the window, if you're with me. Okay, Tina, you're doing great. That's awesome. You're looking forward to this card. I'm looking forward to our time together too. Lorna, it's good to see you. Right, so I have stamped this stamp onto um, white card. Now, I use the deluxe flower shaping paper for everything, for my cards, because they have such a fabulous, it has such a fabulous strength to hold the weight of a decorated card. So this is the stamp. It's gorgeous. Now, I've got my camera a bit lower than normal because I wanted you to be able to really get in there and see. Um, so that's a beautiful size stamp. You can see how it's sitting on my hand there. OK. Janet, good morning. You're from Arkansas. Barbara, you're from Hastings. It's lovely and sunny on the coast. That's awesome. And it's so good to see you again. So I love our time together, ladies. I really do. OK, so back to the carding. I've stamped in Encore Gold. And then I have used um, a gold um, embossing powder on top. There you go. I couldn't get my words out because I wanted to have that um, differentiation. I want to show you. So I just stamped it in the gold, in the ink. OK, and that's how it came out. And I'm like, that's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. But if you're a crafter that wants to take it to another level, then let's heat emboss it and look at the difference. Isn't that just gorgeous? Janine, good morning. You're in Montana. Very beautiful, Janine. Yeah. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to die cut this. Now, you're going to need two of these to make the card. So the first one we're going to die cut with the outer die and then the inner die to cut those windows out. OK, so you'd run that through your die cutting machine. And this is what you get. And then the second time you're going to run the die cutting machine through the die cutting machine. There we go. I'm getting word salad. And you're going to run it like so. And then you're going to come back in 
with what's left and take that top piece off. Now, you could always stamp a third one for that as well, so don't worry. Um, so that's what we're going to, what you're going to need, okay? So, let's make the base. So we've got a piece of card and we've got it folded at the top to make our shaped card. So we've got that lovely hinge at the top. Now, I decided I was going to see these two pieces here. This is where I lined up so that I know that I get a straight bottom. I always use the top of my die, a point on the die to line up so I get a straight die. So that's where I would cut it on this one. Okay. So we've got our shaped card base and we're going to cut out of the paper pad. The paper pad is so beautiful. Now, I don't know about you, but um, the paper pad brings it all together. Um, the stamps and the dies work absolutely beautifully with the paper pad and it just finishes it off. So I've die cut a piece of paper from my paper pad and I I went through my paper pad with this die cut image placing it to see which piece fitted the best and I fell in love with this one and it is you can see it's slightly bigger so we've got a bit of maneuverment around the back so I can choose where I want this window so I want to make sure I've got the butterfly and let's make sure we've got his tail and I want his head with those flowers like so. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my glue and we're going to glue that in place. OK, so I'm going to go around the outer edge like so and across okay so throw me some hearts if you are loving this project and uh, let me know what would you make with this collection okay it's such a, I don't know it, I always remember my little girl and we went to a stately home and in at this home, there were peacocks and we walked into one area and this peacock just put its feathers out. Oh, my word. It was such a beautiful display. And Isabella, she was like, oh, wow. So um, peacocks are such a beautiful bird. And uh, I don't know about you, but when I see peacocks, they bring back lovely memories. So, uh, OK, so we've just glued that on and we've glued our front piece onto our card. Right. So the next step is we're going to make a shaker element. Now, I don't know about you, friend, but sometimes I go... Oh, shake, shake a card and they go everywhere. So I want to show you how to get the best results. And I know some of you already have these because I've used them before and you've said to me, Liz, these are amazing. Friend, you are right. These white foam strips are amazing and we do have them on the website and they're straight and they're long. So they make it perfect to create shaker cards with. So rather than having, you know, those square pieces and the oblong pieces and then trying to fit them together and you get little gaps in between and all your pieces come out. Well, these are perfect. So I've cut two pieces of the um, clear cardstock. Now I've left the tissue paper on the back so that you can see them so they are that will be gone okay and I didn't want them to get all um, messy and attract the uh, the uh, the bits off my desk so all we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these strips 
and I am just going to put it along the edge like so and then I'm going to take <coughs> excuse me another strip and do the same thing and you do that all the way around okay in fact what I did was I did the straight sides first and then that left me with a small section so there's a top tip it's always good when you see um, someone who's demonstrating something go ah no that's not what I wanted to do because we all learn from each other's mistakes don't we um, and that's how we we grow in our crafting and how we develop so so that's the best way to do it so one side the bottom and then the other side and then you see you've just got a little bit that we're going to fill in so what we'll then do is you'll take all your bits off adhere that to the top put all your shaker bits in so i've used um some prills that's getting very empty isn't it you can tell that this is one of my favorites this is the hot mama okay and uh, i've got some sequins out of my crafty stash so what you're going to do is put them all together let me move these bits and we have our shaker here okay so that's really easy it's a really easy shape to make a shaker card with so what we're going to do is i'm going to take this piece and i'm just going to put some glue on the back of it like so and across those window frames now as a crafter we make lots and lots of Christmas cards when when the season comes. And I was thinking that this would make an amazing Christmas window. So imagine using it with your um, Christmas papers and your florals, your, your poinsettias, and having all these windows with snow laid on them. Oh, I, I can't wait for um, the Christmas release to come out and have a go with that. I really can't. So, so I'm just going to glue the back of here and then we're going to put it onto our card. And that's all we're going to do with that shake part. OK, now then the top piece, I have gone around the top so it's 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 heat embossed yes and i've gone around with a dauber and just gone on the edge like so so it's just created that lovely gold effect now friend it'd be also beautiful if it was stamped on looks gold card and heat embossed um that would give a real sheer of elegance so i've got some 3d pads on the back and just go in to put some glue on there. Now I know that you as a crafter know why I do that because we've talked about that lots and lots of times. And if you don't, what it is, is just to give me that little bit more maneuverability. So a sticky pad just grabs and sticks and having some glue on it just gives me that little bit of maneuverability. Okay, so there's my card try and get rid of that reflection i'm sorry and what we're going to do now is decorate it so let's bring in the gorgeous peacock okay now then isn't this beautiful so throw me some hearts if you love this image all the feathers and the flowers now i don't know about you but sometimes I look at an image and go, wow, that's beautiful. How do I colour it? Well, I'm going to show you. And it's really, really easy. So uh, these are, this is the stamp and the die set. And it's the ornate peacock. So that's the stamp and the coordinating die. And not only do you get this gorgeous peacock, but you get these additional um feathers and flowers so you could 3d it up you could you could create some dimensional layers you could put them in so that they poke out in a different place of the card 
And that one is a lovely big stamp again. Okay. So what I've done is I've stamped it in garden patina. Um, one of my favourite colours to do these peacocks in. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I've taken my die and we're going to lay the coordinating die over it. And then we just tip it down, run it through our die cutting machine and we get this gorgeous image. Okay, so let's colour it. So I'm going to get my dauber. So I, I'm going to use the 3D daubers because these have that dome shape which make for easy colouring. So you can see how it's shaded. That's done with the daubers. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my ink on and then I'm just going to come in on the edge like so. And you can see how it is darker on the outside and lighter on the inside. It's blending because of that beautiful shape. Okay. So. Now, I don't know if you know this, and I don't want you to miss out. So, there are, there's a bundle savings with our new release. As always, there's the I Want It All bundle, and there's a 10% savings. So, if you're a crafter like me, that loves to have the whole thing, then don't miss out on that savings. The savings is on you around until Saturday or while stocks last. So don't miss out on that one. Okay, now I am going to come in with some leaf green because I don't want to colour the leaves blue before I get to them. So I'm going to just come in with my leaf green and add some onto where I can see those leaf sections. And it's okay to bend your image so you don't catch onto uh, a different part, okay? So let's see. Okay, we've got some over here. Right, now then, while I've got my leaf green out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some on to the ends of the feathers so that we get a blended colour, okay? Now then, it, it's, quite, it's getting on for late afternoon here in the UK and I know that we're all people from all around the world. So um, drop me a note and let me know where you are. I know that um, on the west coast of America, we are eight hours difference. I mean, gosh, wow. So uh, it's still morning out there. I, I, I laugh because uh, I, I'm in your future, I guess. <laughs> okay, so... What we're going to then do is come back in with our blue and just gently go over these areas like so. So we're just putting some colour in like very quickly, very easily. Okay. And like so. D try not to get hold of my flowers like there we go now I'm not going to color these flowers at the top because I'm going to put some little flowers over there um, but I am going to come in with my cactus flower move some of these inks out of the way and I'm just going to do a little circular motion on these flowers down here so that I'm going to put some little flowers over them. But then there's just a bit of colour underneath. Okay. 
like so. Now you could absolutely just leave it like that. Janet, you said you can't wait to get yours. You just ordered it last night. Oh, my friend, make sure we would love to see what you make um if you would like to share then make sure you share it with us um because we do love to see what everyone makes really inspires us as well to create so um right what i'm going to do now is i have some wisteria petals that i've got in my crafty stash now i i'm often asked how do you keep your um spares yeah so i like to go shopping in brackets in my own crafty stash for my flowers that i've already made because that makes crafting quick and easy so i'll often make a few more than i need and then i can go but i keep them in these little business card boxes and then i keep them in a bigger box and uh, then i just go looking and, and pick out the ones so i'm just going to pop these on here now the wisteria petals these are, I'm using these as just little individual flowers, but they are actually designed to create these beautiful wisteria, hanging wisteria flowers. So aren't they gorgeous? This is a really versatile flower. So you can create them like this. You can create them singularly, or you could even put a double layer together and create a different little flower as well. Now, those are in the warehouse collect um, warehouse clearance. So if that's something that you haven't got yet and uh, think it's something for you, then uh, make sure you add those to your basket and uh, you can save up to 70%, which is awesome. OK, so we're just going to add those onto there and then we'll add these three last ones onto our top of our peacock and we'll just then glue him onto our card and our card is that will be complete all right now i don't know if you know about the insider membership if you're an insider you can save an extra 20 percent so for example the i want it all bundle there's 10% savings. Insiders get the 10% savings, but they also then get the 20% savings as well. So that's a really awesome um, thing. And free, mem free membership, free postage in the US and uh, discount international shipping, which is amazing access to all of our online classes which there's over 50 of them so you could sit and binge watch crafting while you're crafting how cool is that okay so we're just then going to glue our peacock onto the card in fact i think i'm just going to put some pop dots on him so let's get some out Okay, now then, what we'll do is we'll just pop him on there, like so. Pop, pop, pop. I would put a pop dot a bit further down. And that's our card, all complete. So you can create stunning effects with this collection. Absolute elegance with the peacocks. I hope you've enjoyed watching and our crafty time together brenda you're saying it's so beautiful janet it's amazing to see you brenda you're saying vancouver's beautiful amazing awesome and jennifer you ordered yours last night janet you'll love it yay janet is one of our design team members and she's made some amazing cards with this so make sure you head to our website and um, have a look in the gallery for inspiration. There are over 20 cards, 20 projects that posted on Wednesday with this new collection. So be inspired and um, all, the, all the projects have full instructions. So you can make them too, which is amazing. So have a look. 
head to the website, have a look on the gallery, add the stamps and the dies to your cart and our shipping team will get them out to you. Take advantage of the I Want It All savings, my friend, if this is something for you. I can't wait to craft with you again soon. And have you heard? We're going to have a virtual event on Valentine's Day. Yay! We, I love crafting, so it's the perfect day to have a, a virtual event. I hope you are going to join us. Um, Emma Lou, myself and Carrie will be live um, all throughout the day. So we've got lots of beautiful projects for you. And, um, you know, art from the heart. How can you not create art from the heart on Valentine's Day? There is a link, I believe, going to be posted soon. If you check your emails, make sure you're signed up and you'll get hold of that. Check the blog, check Facebook, check all of our social media because you won't want to miss this. And don't worry, if you do miss it, then you'll be able to catch them on replay because all the videos are going to be held on to you, onto YouTube, onto, onto our website and youtube for you so that's amazing i will see you next week on valentine's day and 